Why didn't we think of clothes before? asked Adam, removing Eve's. Why did we ever think of clothes? asked Eve's, having to launder Adam's. Mr and Mrs R and the Christmas card list. Shall I cross them off? It's 20 years since we last met. Of course, Mr R and I once thought we were made for each other. Ah, that heart-stopping moment by the kitchen sink when he took off his spectacles and fiercely kissed me. Uh, but all that lasted less than a week. And what I recall more vividly is Mrs R's good advice. Always plunge, plunge your lemons in hot water before you squeeze them. One more year, perhaps. Um, I, I, for the first time, uh, only a few weeks ago, I got a pair of um, that very focals, which I hadn't realised you could get, which means that you don't have to have two sets of uh, spectacles, one for long sightedness and one for short sightedness. And, and this sort of s sums up the problems of having uh, two pairs of spectacles and it's called, it's by Ogden Nash and it's called um, Peekaboo, I Almost See You. Middle aged life is merry and I love to lead it, but there comes a day when your eyes are all right but your arm isn't long enough to hold the telephone book where you can read it. And your friends, they get jocular, so you go to the oculist. And of all your friends, he is the joculist. So over his fastidiousness, let us skim. Only noting that he had been waiting for you ever since you said a good evening to his grandfather clock in, under the impression that it was him. And when you look at his chart, uh, and it says... S-H-R-D-U-L-Q-W-E-R-T-Y-O-P and you say, well, sh put it the other way around, uh, he says one set of glasses won't do, you need two. One for reading Earl Stanley's Gardener's Perry Mason and Keats' Endymion with, and the other for walking around without saying hello to strange women on with. So you spend your time taking off your seeing glasses to put on your reading glasses and then remembering that your reading glasses are upstairs or in the car and then you can't find your seeing glasses again because without them you can't see where they are. Enough of such mishaps that uh, they would try the patience of an ox. I prefer to forget both pairs of glasses and pass my declining years saluting strange women and grandfather clocks. And uh, I was in London a few weeks ago listening to Roger McGuff, who has uh, the Troubadour uh, somewhere in London, and uh, he explained that he's now decided to join the sort of uh, green movement and has uh, taken up recycling. And he sort of quoted his poem on that, which, are, which is, I, uh, I cycle to work in the morning and I recycle home at night. 